Hello friends and enemies, welcome to or back to Happy For Now. It's me Isabel here with my February manga log and haul and a cat. And a cat. Peas is also here. I guess she woke up from her nap. It is time to talk about all the manga I read in the month of February. I did not read a ton again, but I feel like I still read enough to warrant a video because, listen, I already know March is going to be a lot. Another month's also going to be a lot. So we'll see how this goes. Let's dive into the stats real quick. I read seven volumes of manga for 1,316 pages, which is not too shabby. And then genre-wise, I read five shoujos and two joseis last month, so that was really fun. Let's go ahead and talk about the seven volumes I read last month, and then we'll talk about everything I purchased because I did buy some, but not a ton, so we'll talk about it. Either way, first up, I read And Yet You Are So Sweet, Volume 1. This is a NetGalley arc, so NetGalley is where you can get early reader copies of things, and I got this a while ago and forgot about it, and then was like, oh my gosh, I need to read this. This was a cute show, Joe. I enjoyed it. It was fun. I don't know if it's one that I'm going to collect digitally, like right as it comes out it might be one that I pick up during promos or if I have some gift cards I think it's definitely not high on my priority list but it was pretty cute she confesses her love to another person at her school who rejects her and like makes fun of her for it and this other kid that's like a popular guy kind of at school is like you can have a crush on me and it's their like very very adorable friendship that blossoms into more I'm assuming as we continue to read and then I read the finale to I'll Never Be Your Crown Princess. So that was volume three. This was disappointing. I give this like a three and a half. I wanted to love this so much. I wanted a conclusion that I loved. I know there's a spinoff and I'm glad I knew there was a spinoff going in because this was so unsatisfying as an ending. I felt like it just ended with like minimal um, context to the world, minimal addition to the world, minimal anything to the world, to be honest with you. And that was disappointing at the end of the day, like really, really disappointing. So yeah, proceed with caution on this Steamship trilogy, I guess, for now. We'll see what happens as I read more in the spinoff eventually. It just kind of wasn't eh. Next I read volume eight of Imakoi. Now I'm in love. This is such a fun continuation. I really like this one. We kind of circled back a little bit to our original couple more here. But we only have one more volume that literally comes out the day this video goes up, so I will be reading that very soon, and I'll discuss it in a weekly vlog in next month, happily, because I'm excited. I'm hopeful that I will enjoy the end of this. I don't always love the ending in mangas, I feel like. Sometimes I'm left a little disappointed, and I'm hoping this is not one of those series for me, because I love these babies. They are like my sweet little old married couple that are in high school, and that's why I like them so much, so I'm really, really hopeful. Next, we have my favorite trash of choice right now and that is bite maker uh the king's omega volumes eight and nine we have two more volume one more volume one more volume of this and i'm i'm extremely curious to see where that's gonna go um so i'm hoping for a good resolution here i don't feel i don't know i don't know if i feel like nine set us up for that finale and i really like this i it's one that i definitely think i'll revisit some of and then decide if i'm keeping or not but for now it's just been really fun overall to read it's very over the top it's very dramatic it's ridiculous absolutely ridiculous but i'm having so much fun with it that like i can't deny how much fun I'm having with it you know like it's just one of those things it's either really gonna work for you or not work for you at all also like this is definitely one of those series that I can't really easily recommend to anyone unless I know you really well <laughs> because I just don't think it works for a lot of people because it is so over the top and ridiculous and then my first volume one for my volume one vlog which you will be getting later in March Honey So Sweet, so this is your little preview. I loved this, this is really, really cute. Solid four stars, this follows a boy who's like a delinquent. She helps him and then he decides to ask her to date him with intention to marry and they're in high school. It's really sweet, they're like 15. Overall with this one, what I would note is it's in the Viz Media app. So if you have the app subscription like I do, you can read it that way and I definitely plan to continue and read it that way before acquiring it physically because why not take advantage of my subscription to know I really love it and want to own it. But this was a really fun volume one. I am so glad I finally read it. They're just really cute together because he's definitely like seen as a bad boy but is secretly actually like a total sweetie. And I have a soft spot for that. So I'm of course just de gonna devour this most likely. And then last but not least is We Can't Do Plain Love volume two. I am dying for April for volume three to come out. I loved this. This was a great continuation of volume one. 
if these keep up like this, this is like gunning for a top spot on my favorite like smutty manga reads. Like it, it's it's coming for the top spots. I was so surprised by volume two. We have a lot of jealousy in this one that was actually really fun and well done. I felt like we follow a like more growth between their relationship and like what it means for the two of them what they're actually interested in with each other, including just like also a good time inside, to be honest with you. All right, now we have to talk about all the books I bought slash manga I bought in the month of February. Again, not as much as it could have been, a little more than it should have been, we'll call it, but still not too bad. I will note two digital volumes that I, one came out in February and one came out in January that I forgot is Boss Bride Days. I got volume 13 and 14. I do just have an automatic subscription for these on my Amazon because I really, really like them. <laughs> And in fact, we're about to get the next volume of Match Made in Heaven, which I'm also excited for, but that's a, that's for March. Either way, I have Boss Bride Days 13 and 14. I'm planning to read these soon. I need to get caught up again. I think I left off on volume 10 or 11. So I would like to read the rest of those and get caught up here, probably in March. These came out though, January and February, and I'm really excited to continue. I love these covers. She saves their grandpa and he's like, you can marry one of my grandsons. And she has to pick one of them. And it also is a very much based on this dating game she's been playing almost like come to real life and that element is really really fun here and then we just continue on a journey of bonkersness to say the least next i have oh god i'm gonna drop this sailor moon volume six this is the new pocket editions of the sailor moon eternals i'm so happy these are coming out again finally and i really love collecting them they're so pretty i do need to do like a sailor moon reading vlog sooner than later so i'll probably do that this summer I am so excited to be collecting the pocket editions. These feel a lot more readable than the big ones that I have. So this will be a nice option for me when I decide to finally pick it up. Sailor Moon has like such a sweet spot because of like childhood nostalgia, of course. I got an I'll Never Be Your Crown Princess volume three in February. It shipped like the end of January. So by the time it showed up, February, we talked about it. Then I did get Something's Wrong With Us, volume 19, our final volume of all the side stories. So we have through 16 as the main story, I think, and the next three volumes are all side stories. So I'm excited to be able to finish this. I'm debating a vlog where I read like the end of some series. So like I read the last of Something's Wrong With Us that I have. Um, Yakuza Lover, I think I almost have to the end of. And I know I've got a couple other things that are like finished or almost finished, so. Then I've got a webtoon that I'm going to count here because I don't know where else to count it. It's a manhwa probably. I, I haven't researched it that closely, but that's my assumption. And that is the Dangerous Convenience Store. I did pick up volume one at the bookstore the other day when they were running a promo because I could not resist. <laughs> like I could not resist. I had to get it. So I'm excited for this. It is full color because it's a webtoon and um, it is explicit. I will tell you that because I went to show it on my vlog and I opened to an explicit page. So there's that. But yeah, I'm really excited for this. This will probably be in my volume one vlog. I don't do a ton of webtoons in there, but if, if it's not in the volume one vlog, I'll do a video where I like talk about all the webtoons I've read that have been published. So then I also picked up my cute little kitten volume two. I really liked volume one of this. It was very fun sapphic romance. I'm excited to see where this takes us. And last but not least is my senpai is annoying volume 11 that I'm very behind on. My last read volume was eight. Uh, or seven. So I need to catch up, but I did pick up 11 because I had it at my bookstore. So I grabbed it. <laughs> that is everything. That is everything I purchased this month and read. Let me know what you picked up recently and are loving. If there's anything you think I should check out, obviously do that in the comments. If you have requests for manga or webtoon specific content, let me know. That's kind of a, not new, but like, I feel like it's something I don't think about as often as I do book stuff. So let me know. Uh, if you don't want to do any of that, you can leave me a cat emoji in the comments for my cute little kitten. Uh, because my cat is literally down here at my feet. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can do that in the comments. I will have links to all of these for you down below, as well as links to be my friend anywhere on the internet. And I will talk to y'all in just a few days. Bye! Really, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. We'll get away, this is what we waited for